G'day everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the neutral plane, which is the layer that exists between the smoke coming out of a structure fire and the air that is being drawn in. Now, to talk about the neutral plane, it's probably easiest if we start by having a look at how fire works. Now, in this example here, you can see that the smoke and products of combustion are being lifted above the fire by the convection current. And as our smoke and flame are being lifted above the fire, the fire actually draws more air in around the base. And this creates a convection current where cold air is being drawn to our fire and smoke and flame are being pushed away. And this is actually what we see inside a structure fire as well. We generally see that the smoke and flame will accumulate at the ceiling and then we'll see cold air being drawn in from the outside at the bottom of the room. Now, this is actually where we start to see our neutral plane come into play because we have cold, dense air coming in from the outside and we have hot, more buoyant, less dense air at the top. And this difference in density is actually really important because this is what gives rise to a neutral plane. Now, to demonstrate this, what we're going to do is a little experiment with some hot and cold water. And these will actually behave in a very similar way to how our cold air and our smoke will behave inside a structure fire. Now, what I've got here is I've got a tank of cold water and I'm basically just filling up this cup with some hot water and some food coloring added to it just so that we can see the difference between our hot water and our cold water. As I add the hot water to the cold water, you can see that it immediately starts rising to the surface because the hot water is a lot less dense than the cold water because it's a lot hotter. Now, what you'll see is as it rises, it actually gets to the top and then starts spreading out across the tank of water. And this is similar to a structure fire because as our smoke rises to the top and then hits the ceiling, it will actually spread out until it finds another opening. And this is the same with what we can see in our tank. The hot water spreads out across the tank and as it does, we start to see a layer between the hot water and the cold water. And this is a demonstration of the neutral plane. Because as we can see in this live fire demonstration, the hot smoke and the cold air being drawn in don't want to mix. And this is because of the different densities between the cold air that gets drawn in by the fire, which is a lot denser than the hot smoke that's being pushed out by the fire. Now, this is an example where the neutral plane is very defined. However, in the real world, it's not always that simple. And this is because the line between the cold air coming in and the hot air coming out isn't always necessarily so well defined. In fact, what we can often see is there's a lot of mixing in this zone. And rather than having a defined neutral plane, what we can actually see is a gradient over a distance where we'll actually see a little bit of smoke and the smoke will then slowly build up as we get closer to the ceiling. And this is just because the temperature is slowly becoming hotter as we go up. And as it becomes hotter, it becomes less dense and more buoyant, and that's where the hotter smoke is going to be contained. Where on the other side, as we get lower, what we're seeing is it's getting colder and denser, and that's where we're starting to see more and more air. And therefore, we might end up seeing more of a gradient with our smoke rather than such a defined layer. However, in either case, the same process is still essentially happening where our cold air is being drawn in towards the fire and our hot smoke and products of combustion are being pushed out and away from the fire. All right, so now we've seen that the neutral plane actually exists between a temperature difference between the cold air being drawn into the fire in the air track and the hot smoke and products of combustion that are being pushed out of the fire. And it's the difference in density between these two layers that actually creates our neutral plane. And the neutral plane isn't necessarily always a really defined layer. It may just be a whole mixing area where the cold air is mixing with the smoke and we just get a gradient in smoke as it actually rises higher and higher. But by knowing this, we can gain a better understanding about what's actually happening inside our fire and how our fire suppression techniques are going to influence the outcome of that particular incident. But that's it for this one. Thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.